which to deliver on them. Question number eight, Anahila Kanongataha Sui Suiki. Tēnā koe te manawhakawā. To the Minister for Social Development, what changes can New Zealanders expect on 1 July as part of the families package? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Carmel Cipollone. Significant changes will occur beginning July the 1st. We are boosting the incomes of low to middle income families by increasing the family tax credit and raising the abatement threshold, reinstating the independent tax credit and introducing the new start and uh, the new best start and winter energy payments. We prioritise work in these areas as part of our 100-day plan because far too many New Zealanders were in need of support. This government is committed to action. Supplementary. Why is this important? Mr Speaker. Order. Order. This will be a short reply. We know that over the last 10 years, people have been increasingly doing it tough. Our families package measures address the needs of low to middle income New Zealanders, working New Zealanders, those out of work, children and our superannuitants. We aren't placing our hopes on the trickle down theory because clearly it hasn't worked. Supplementary. Why should all superannuants be eligible for the winter energy payment? Mr Speaker. We're seeing growing, a grow, growing poverty amongst our senior citizens. Less are going into retirement owning their own homes, and more are presenting at work and income offices across the country with hardship needs. In 2016-17, almost 10,000 seniors suffered from pneumonia, and that doesn't take into account other respiratory conditions. I've been told on numerous occasions of senior citizens staying in bed all day to keep warm. That's not right and this government is committed to doing it better. Question number nine, Jonathan Young. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to...